UltraZ is Avnet's system on module designed around the Xilinx Zinc UltraScale Plus Oppogrammable SoC. In addition to the SOM module itself, Avnet has also developed a carrier board, which can aid you in the development and prototyping of your SOM-based solution. The power architecture on this board is based on the Infineon IRPS5401, which is a power management IC from Infineon. This device has four switching outputs as well as an LDO output and is fully PM bus enabled. Two of these devices reside on the SOM, and as shown here in this block diagram, an additional device is present on the carrier. Together, all three of these devices provide power not only to the peripherals on the board, but to all the different banks of the UltraScale Plus Zinc device. By breaking up the supplies the way we did, we're able to enter the different power modes supported by the Zinc device. You can also communicate to this bus through an external dongle by connecting to the physical PM bus header that we've provided on the carrier board. To learn more about the different power modes supported by the Zinc device, please reference white paper 482 from Xilinx.com. Again, through this interface, it allows you to monitor real time the voltages, currents, temperature rises in your system, and you can do this either in system or through an external dongle. Right now, we're going to go through a brief demonstration of the GUI so you can see exactly what this looks like in real time. Once you've powered up your board and connected your dongle, you can open the Power Center GUI and come to this Populate button, which will populate the devices that are on the communication chain. You'll see when you originally do it, they all come up with default names, default addresses, um, and you can see all the, the output voltages, the temperature of the device, etc. So sometimes you'll hit some of these threshold warnings during power up. So what I like to do is after power up, issue a clear, then you can monitor for any actual operational faults. The other thing you can do is you can actually go in and change each one of these names individually to reflect what that supply actually is. Now I've already done this, so what I'm gonna do is go in and open the profile that I've already created for this board. Now what you'll see is it's gone and renamed each one of these rails with what they actually are, and you can see that now reflected here. When you've gone through and renamed everything in your own system, you can save this profile, do the save board design, so that in the future when you power it up, all you have to do is open that, pro open that configuration file and it will assign the proper names to all the addresses and all the devices on your board. So that's a quick overview of how you use the GUI to monitor, uh, monitor your board. You can go in here and look at the status. If you get errors, the errors will show up in here, which can tell you exactly what, uh, what's going on with any type of faults or warnings you may see pop up on the bus. For more detailed uh, demonstration of the PM bus, uh, you can look for my other video that goes into much more detail on configuring all these different options. For more information on this board, please visit ultraz.org. Or, for information specifically on the IRPS 5401, please visit invineon.com slash Xilinx. You may also contact your local, local Avnet FAE or account manager to learn more not only about the power solution on the UltraZ, but also learn more about the pre-configured pre designs available inside the IRPS 5401 to support all the different Xilinx Zinc UltraScale Plus devices. Thank you for your time.